All these eye movements and exercises may be performed seated in a cross-legged position, seated on a chair, or if you'd like, you can even join me and stretch your legs forward. And like you can see, I have placed a couple of cushions under my sitting bones and that just helps me create a little bit of elevation and release tension from the hips. So please feel free to pick the option that works best for you and then make sure your spine stays upright throughout and the neck stays in alignment with the spine. The first exercise we will do is the sideways viewing exercise, which is great to release tension that is caused by constant reading, and it may also correct and even maybe prevent squinting. Let's get started. So come into that comfortable seated position. Go ahead and close your eyes and take a couple of breaths just to relax the muscles around the eyes, all the facial muscles. Make sure you're seated nice and tall. And then when you're ready, go ahead and blink your eyes to open and stretch your arms out to the sides. Make a loose fist with your hands and point the thumbs up towards the ceiling. Now, although your arms are nice and wide, you wanna make sure your hands are clearly visible in your peripheral vision without having to move the head. If they're not clearly visible, you wanna move them slightly closer in together. If your shoulders get tired or if the arms feel tired, feel free to support them by placing something underneath. All right, so we're going to do 10 rounds of the following exercise. With the head nice and still, we'll look at the left thumb, look at the center of the eyebrows, and then look at the right thumb. Center of the eyebrows, left thumb. That's one round. Let's keep going. Center of the eyebrows, right, eyebrows, left. That's two. Keep going. Now, how you want the breath to be is inhale on the way to the center. Exhale when you look out to the side. Inhale, exhale. And synchronizing breath and movement always, always helps to get into a comforting rhythm and to slow down your movements. Remember to go at your own pace. There's no rush. Feel free to even hit pause if you need to go slower than I am, if you need to take a break. And like I mentioned earlier, you want to make sure the targets stay nice and clear. So take an extra second if you need to, to make sure that when you're gazing, for example, at the left thumb, that you can see it clearly without rushing. So I believe we have one or two more rounds here. And once you're done with that last round, go ahead and relax your arms. Go ahead and close your eyes, and you may even practice palming here. Gently cupping your eyes with your palms, inviting some darkness, inviting some relaxation. And then take your time, hit pause if you need to, and then release your hands. And when you're ready, we'll move on to the next ex exercise, sorry, which is the front and side viewing exercise. This one is great to improve coordination of the medial and lateral muscles of the eyeballs. So here I'm going to keep my left arm straight in front and just rest the fist, the, light, the loose fist that I'm making with the hand on top of my knee. And then the right arm will be stretched out to the side. The thumbs are pointing up towards the ceiling, shoulders are relaxed. And now what I will do is look at the thumb that's in front, keeping the head still. Exhale, look at my right thumb. And I'm going to do this 10 times. Inhale, center or thumb that is in front. Exhale, side. So one thing that I, I need to keep reminding myself is to relax my forehead muscles. So notice if that's the case for you as well. And that's okay. 
This just shows that we're building awareness in our body. Remember to slow down the movement if you need to. Do this with intention. Do this with love for your body. For the capacity that your eyes have to move, to see. Good. Let's do two more. Very nice. And then go ahead and switch. You may take a break here. You can do some palming or blinking if you need to. And then join me for the next side or the other side. My right arm is in front. My left arm is out to the side. I'm just going to take a moment to sit tall. Relax my facial muscles. And I'm going to start now. I look at the thumb that's in front. And then without moving my head, look at the thumb on the left. Inhale to center and then exhale to the side. And coordinating breath and movement itself is a form of meditation. Relax the facial muscles. Remember that you want to do everything that you're doing with intention. Be completely aware of what you're doing in this moment. Be aware of the sensations, the breath. We've got maybe two more. Wonderful. And then relax, palm or cup your eyes, inhale, exhale, take a moment, relax, keep your eyes closed for as long as you need to. The next exercise we will do is up and down viewing. You may do this, like I said, please feel free to do this seated on a chair if sitting on the floor is not comfortable. All right, so whenever you're ready, please join me with your arms in front. Okay, I'm going to again make a loose fist in both my hands, point the thumbs out towards the ceiling. Relax the shoulders. And this is great to activate and strengthen the muscles, the upper and the lower muscles of uh, our eyeballs. So sit upright, relax the shoulders. I'm going to start with my right arm. So I'm going to keep my head still, look at my right thumb, and then keeping my gaze on the thumb, I'm slowly going to move the hand up towards the ceiling, keeping my arm as straight as possible. And then on the exhale, slowly bring the hand back to where it started. Good, I'm going to switch now to the left thumb. And down. remember to keep your gaze on the thumb and make sure it's clearly visible. Good. Switch to the right. Notice how your breath is. Are you rushing your breath? Are you able to relax your facial muscles just a little bit more perhaps? I know I have the tendency to move my head a little bit in this movement, especially up and down movement of the eyes. So I'm very much aware of that and that just helps me improve each time. So it is okay if your head moves, just be aware of it. And then have the intention to keep it still. We've done three rounds so far. We're going to do five. You may do between five to 10 rounds of each of these exercises. If you're, if you're just starting out, all these movements may be very, very new to your eyes. So you might wanna start out with five rounds and then you progress to maybe 10 rounds. But go slow. 
not a race, it's not a competition, it's really about how your body feels. Good. Remember to slow down your breath. Relax the facial muscles and honor your body. Honor your breath. Honor the movement of your eyes. Good. And that's the last one on the left. And once you're done with this round, once again, please take a moment to rest, to relax. You may even change the position of your legs a little bit. Breathe in, breathe out. And then whenever you're ready, go ahead and open your eyes. We've got two more exercises. Hopefully you're still with me and that I hope that you're enjoying these exercises and this time that you're spending with your body. Now, the next one is the rotational viewing, which is going to be with just one arm first, and then we'll switch to the other side. So keep one hand just relaxed on your leg. I'm going to start with the right side. I'm going to point my right thumb up towards the ceiling and bring my hand at my eye level. Okay, now from here, I'm going to draw circles with my arm. I'm going to start by keeping my gaze on the thumb and lowering the thumb all the way down. And then I'm going to start with clockwise circles. Now again, to synchronize breath and movement, think of inhaling for the upper arc of the circle and then the exhale on the lower arc of the circle. Inhale on the upper arc. Exhale on the lower arc. I'm going to do five clockwise and then five anti clockwise. And what happens a lot in these gentle yogic exercises is that people tend to get bored. <laughs> and that's the truth because they're very slow. They take time. But know and remind yourselves that these exercises are really, really beneficial. And to slow down is really what we all need sometimes. We tend to get caught up in movement and you know, rushing through things, achieving more and more in less time. So these are really, really great, not only to strengthen certain muscles, but also to develop this sense of patience, love and commitment towards our body. Good, so now I'm on this anti-clockwise movement or rotation. Good, I'm going to do one more and then switch over to the left side. Good. Go ahead and relax once you're done with one side and let's move over to the other side. Relax the shoulders. Take a moment and start with the thumb all the way down. Clockwise, inhale on the way up. Exhale on the way down. And remember that even if you do two or three repetitions of each of these exercises daily, 
you are doing a great job. It doesn't have to be 10 reps for each one. If you can, that's amazing. But if you're not able to, just do one, two, three repetitions of each exercise and you will not regret it. Once you've done, once you've done five clockwise, go ahead and do five anti-clockwise. And like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, these eye movements are not only for the health of our eyes. They have an effect on the whole system, the whole body, because they help to activate certain parts of the brain that send out messages to different muscles in the body. So by practicing these eye movements, we're able to improve our balance, our focus, our concentration, coordination. Good. And go ahead and relax. Cup your eyes. Blink a few times here. Breathe in. Breathe out. You're doing a great job. We've got one last exercise, which is the nose tip gazing or Nasikagra Drishti. I'm going to cross my legs for this last exercise. Feel free to join me if that works for you. So this really, really helps to build our focusing power or the focusing power of our eyes, our concentration as well. Sit upright, spine straight, shoulders relaxed. Bring one hand forward, thumb pointing up. And we're going to gaze at the thumb. And then slowly start to move the thumb towards the tip of the nose. Inhale as you move the thumb away. If at any point it feels like the thumb's image starts to get blurry. Take a moment, pause there, allow the eyes to settle into that picture, into that image, and then start to move the hand again. So we're going to do 10 of these, and this has to be one of my favorites, because I really, really feel like my eyes get stronger This is also because we're so used to staring at screens, whether it's the computer screen or our cell phone or the TV. This just allows us to focus on one point and strengthen the convergence muscles of the eyes. Remember that you do not want to strain your eyes in any way. Like I said, it might feel challenging because your eyes are not used to this, but you do not want to feel any pain. So if you do, you might want to stop, take a little break, maybe consult a doctor if you feel that um, the pain doesn't go away or doesn't change or doesn't reduce over time. Remember to go slow. I'm going to do two more and then we'll do another variation of this um, exercise just for a few rounds. And that's also one that I really, really like to practice. And it's one that many, many people who have practiced this say that it's very, very beneficial. Good, and that's the last round here for me. Please feel free to complete the 10 rounds if you haven't by hitting pause and then join me for the second variation when you're ready. So I'm going to go ahead and relax my arm now. And for this last variation, a great idea would be to sit by a window with a clear view of um, the horizon and then gaze or look at something that's really, really far 
and then look at the tip of your nose. So I'm going to simply look at something that's really far in this room that I am in. And then look at the tip of my nose. And this again, like I said, when we're used to looking at things on screens, especially the, cell, the, the mobile uh, screen or the computer, our eyes are not used to looking at things far off anymore. So this will help to correct that weakness that builds up over time. Do this a few times, maybe five to ten times. And then once you're done, go ahead and close your eyes for a moment. And what I really, really recommend is Shavasan. So go ahead and lie down in Shavasan. Keep your eyes closed, reach your arms out to the sides, relax completely, keep your legs apart. Take a deep breath and as you exhale, relax the whole body. And I invite you to stay here for at least 10, ten minutes or maybe even just 5 minutes. And allow the body to take in the benefits of this practice, letting go of physical effort, let, letting go of any mental effort. I thank you for joining me in this practice. I thank you for taking time out for yourself, for your body, for your mind. And I will see you again very, very soon. Thank you. Namaste.